So, welcome. I'm glad you joined to, uh, or glad you came to watch this video tutorial on how to solve 9p squared plus p equals 885. So what I want to do is I just want to go through step by step what we're going to do to solve for p. So remember solve for p means to isolate p, get it by itself so then we can find the value of it. So because right now p is a letter, we don't have a value for it. So if I can get p on one side of the equation and my numbers on the other side, then I can say the value of p is equal to these numbers. So first of all, I need to get rid of this 3, this 9, and this 2 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at their operation that they're, do, that they're affecting my p with, and I'm going to undo them by the reverse order of operations. So the first thing I always undo is addition and subtraction. So I'm going to undo adding 3. So I undo adding 3 by subtracting on both sides, which is subtraction property of equality. So I get 9p squared, which is 882. Now, the next thing we need to do is undo multiplication and division. Since my um, variable p is being multiplied by 9, I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides. And therefore, I get p squared equals 882 divided by 9, which I'm a math savant, which is 98. Check with your calculator. It's pretty close. It's right, all right? So now I have p squared equals 98. Now, to find the value of this, I need to undo my squaring, right? So I have p squared p squared means p multiplied by itself twice. So what I need to do now is I need to take the square root. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say p equals the square root of 98. Now, it's important for us to understand square numbers. Um, one thing we know is 9 squared equals 81 and 10 squared equals 100. So when I take the square root of 81, we know that the answer is going to be an integer 9. And the square root of 100 is going to be the integer 10. However, ladies and gentlemen, when looking at this, um, my number 98 is in between 9 and 10. Therefore, I'm not going to have an integer. I'm actually going to have an irrational number. So what we're going to do is we're just going to approximate it the best we can. But the other thing to introduce is when I, we're talking about it informally, I just talk about the square root, we usually just talk about the positive value. However, when, since I'm introducing the square root, I really don't know what the value is of p. p could be the, square, the positive square root of 98, but it could also be the negative square root of 8, or 98. So therefore, I need to make sure I include both values. So therefore, the value of p could be the positive or the negative value of the square root of 98, which in this case is going to be 9.899. Dot, dot, dot. It's going to uh, go on forever. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when you take the square root um, to find an irrational number for solving for your value P. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.